Oh, I already suck at this. Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX News show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. And with that being said, last week's video did absolutely amazing and I think it might have had something to do with uh, calling you guys out or at least the 80% of you out who leave the video before it's over. So let's try it again. If you're part of the 20% that makes it to the end of the video, let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, let's start talking about the news. The first thing here is that Ride BMX is back, kind of. It's not actually Ride BMX, it's the guys who ran Ride BMX. We've got Jeff Z and Ryan Fudger who are working towards something called Our BMX, which you can see on the screen right here. They've got an Instagram page. The website is up, but there's no content on it yet, just an email link. So at this point, it's kind of just hope for the future because there's really not that much content out there from these guys other than a few posts on Instagram. So I guess all we can really do is hope that things progress from here. And I guess I should mention that I'm doing the same thing I did last week in talking about the few stories that I think are the biggest so that the 80% of you who are going to check out of this video early get what I think might be important to you. So I'm recording this way later on in the video, but this needs to be one of the first things that I talk about. And this is the 2019 Toyota Triple Challenge Highlights. This video absolutely is BMX. And I feel like this is where contests need to go in the future. They literally just took a bunch of different street and park ramps threw them in a parking lot and then let all of these pros loose on the course and i mean if you think about it this is how contests back in the day used to be i feel like this is where bmx contests need to move towards in the future where it's just people freestyling it with what they have kind of similar to like swamp fest where they have all these crazy diy ramps which trey jones builds swamp fest and trey jones built the course for this but it's kind of along the same lines where it's just people freestyling it with what you give them rather than making this rail, ledge, rail, ledge, rail course or just box jumps. It's everything all together and letting people just unleash whatever they feel like doing. And I think that's why Garrett Reynolds won because Garrett is an amazing all around rider. Then you have Drew Bazanson and Matt Ray both on the podium for the same contest. And you've got three of these riders with distinctly different styles riding in one contest on the same podium. Then you got Dan Lacey on the best trick podium, I think it is, and Mike Gray on a best line podium. This contest is a perfect representation of how BMX contests can be made great again. 2020 BMX contests, make them great again. 2019, screw wait until 2020, do it right now because this contest was amazing. It's evident by the video and it's evident by everyone having a blast. And I'm pretty sure that it wasn't like closed invitation only either. Make more contests like this or make more backyard jam style contest like this one count for more within the world of BMX. But also this is why freestyle is so awesome because they can ride in this contest and then they can go and ride in feasts and UCI contests. And it's all just based on what you want to do. And the fact that all of it exists right now within BMX is awesome. So I definitely had to talk about this a little bit earlier in the video. And I feel like it's one of those things that this is what BMX is all about. And with that, the next thing I want to talk about is the Adam 22 interview over on the Come Ups YouTube page. There's a whole lot of stuff in here that you're probably not going to care about. So I'm going to give you the timestamps for what I think is important to listen to because Adam has a perspective on BMX that a lot of people can't have because they didn't run a BMX media site. At 30 minutes in, he talks about BMX media and a lot of the stuff that's going on and kind of where things are. And then at 49 minutes, 30 seconds in, they start talking about what the future of BMX media kind of needs and maybe some things that could help things along. And there's some really good information in there and some stuff that I think people could at least 
consider. I know a lot of people have opinions about Adam-22, but those opinions don't make some of the things that he says less factual or relevant to what's going on in BMX right now. Then after that, we had something that is a big deal and it also doesn't really fit into any of the other categories. And that is the Go Fast Pull Up Jimmy LeVan Story Flyer for the world premiere that is going down at Swamp Fest. Chris Rye of Props, along with the help of Jared Glasgow, have been working hard on this Jimmy LeVan documentary for years now, literally. So it's awesome that it's finally done and going to be premiered at the time of Swamp Fest. And I've got to read the address off of the page here because it's not actually happening at Swamp Fest. It's going down March 29th, which is a Friday at the Mount Dora Community Building, which is 510 North Baker Street in Mount Dora, Florida. March 29th, the Mount Dora Community Building, it's going down. Make sure that if you're in the area, you check it out because it's definitely going to be worth it to see all of these guys hard work and learn about Jimmy LeVan and all of the craziness that has been his life. And before we get into the rest of the news for this week, let me know what you guys think of the new format, talking about what I think are the biggest things to talk about at the very beginning of the video. And uh, stick around because there's a lot more good stuff to talk about. And that brings us into the sponsorship news for this week. We had several things to talk about here, which have been very scarce in the past few weeks. The first thing is a Sam Chamberlain Welcome to Eclat or Eclat video. This one's filmed entirely in the streets and is completely full with new school tech type riding, which if that's something that you're interested in, there's a link in the description below, as well as links to everything else that I'm going to talk about today in the order that it's talked about. Also, there is a Nolly full cab drop at the end of this video, which could make it worth checking out for you. Then after that, we've got a video welcoming Daisuke Shiraishi to a live industry. And the only two words that I have to say about this video are spot usage. If you care about spot usage and you want to see some amazing spot usage, check this video out because that's the entire video. From there, we've got a video from Monster Army welcoming a few Australian dudes to the new Australian team, which they started up. The riders that they're welcoming with this video are Sam Gibson, Alec Donaletti, Jacob Dugdell, and Jack Borthwick. <laughs> With it being Monster Army, you know exactly the type of riding that you're getting into with this video. So if that's what you're into, you know where to find it. We also had the news that Kevin Kalkoff has left Sabrosa and Shadow and now is riding for Federal Bikes. There's really nothing to go with this news, but I'm sure that some sort of content will be coming soon. And then after that, the final sponsorship news is a video welcoming Trent Lutzka to Sunday Bikes. This one is full of street hammers so if you're interested in street burliness and grinding on big rails and crazy ledges and drops and all kinds of insanity this is definitely a video worth checking out this week so when it comes to the videos from this week there's only two that i really want to talk super in depth about and the first one of those is the nowhere bmx ride inside clip contest compilation that's up on their YouTube channel. I ride for nowhere. This is a nowhere shirt, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be biased about this because nowhere held a ride inside contest where you had to submit clips of yourself riding inside in a confined space, not just like in an open garage. And they had tons of submissions and then they picked the favorite 10 clips and then let people vote on Instagram. It's a super awesome format for an online contest. There's a ton of amazing riding in here. The person who won is Matt Berenger with riding inside his cramped garage using rollers and a rail and just you have to check it out. The clip compilation is over 11 minutes long and it features crazy ideas because when you're limited by space, you have to get creative. And that's why I wanted to talk about this one first within the videos. And there really wasn't that much other contest news this week other than the Toyota Triple Challenge, which I talked about at the beginning of the video. After that is a video from Dave Crone and it's called iPhone Clips. This video was amazing. I've never watched this dude's riding before and I'm kind of mad that I haven't because 
He is so versatile doing so many different styles of tricks in every single aspect of riding almost within this video. It was very entertaining. There was some creative editing and filming within here as well. And it's definitely a video that if you're going to check out one from this week and you haven't already picked one from before, this is the video to check out. But of course, there were other videos that are worth checking out this week that I want to mention. The first one is A Day in Lion France with Kevin Peraza from Vital BMX. There's another video from Kevin Peraza in Vital also that I will link with this one in the description. Then we've got a video from Volume featuring Daniel Lil D Martinez. And then we have two longer full length videos that went online this week. The first one is Primo and Strangers 1998 project. This one is like 30 minutes long. So if you want a longer video, you can check that one out. And then we have Daily Grinds rerouting full video being uploaded this week as well. And that one is an hour long. So if 30 minutes isn't enough for you, you can check this one out. There's also two bike checks to talk about this week. The first one is Aaron Ross's spring 2019 bike check from Odyssey, followed by Yumi Sakuda's video bike check from Fit. And that brings us into the products from this week. The first one, or the first three are sneak peeks. The first one is from Shadow and it's of Matt Ray's signature VVS stem. It's a front load stem, I'm pulling it up right now. Comes in a copper color that's like matte, as you can see on the screen right here. There's no details that are released about it. I think that they figured out that if they just release pictures of things, it'll get people talking a lot more than if they just put out all of the details. Either way though, it's kind of interesting to see front load stems being popular again. Kevin Peraza just built up a new bike and he put a front load stem on it. Curious to see if this front load thing takes off again and see if it becomes a trend and everyone buys new stems or goes back to their old stems from before top load was a thing. After that, we've got a sneak peek on the Fly Bikes manual CNC lever and brakes. This is an update on their previous manual brake design where they now allow you to use a conventional spring setup as well as the setup for their spring cable hanger. And just like the brakes, the lever is an updated version of their previous manual brake lever, except this one has a few tweaks to give it a cleaner look and it uses some new bushings called IGUS bushings. And it says that it's supposed to completely eliminate wobble which is something that I would definitely be interested in checking out and then we had two videos come out this week to promote two new colorways in United's incarnate frame the first one is for Harry Mills Wakely lilac colorway and it's a four minute long video that features a ton of riding and the second one is like a 30 something second long promo with just b-roll of a bike featuring Corey Martinez's new flat mint colorway. And then another purple colorway on a frame came out this week. This time it was with We The People's message frame and it's coming in a galactic purple color. There's a theme in BMX right now where every certain amount of time frames come out in new colors. And my opinion on this is literally just why not? If it's putting money into bike companies pockets while giving the people more choice in the colors of their frames, I don't see anything wrong with it and it helps everyone out, I think. And then after that, we had a real quick video from Odyssey featuring Jacob Cable talking about the R25 forks. It's got some nice motion graphics in there and he's explaining how the steeper offset on these R25 forks versus the R32 will help you with nose manuals. And if you guys are at all familiar with Jacob Cable's riding, you know that he is a nose manual master and he knows what he's talking about when it comes to nose manuals. So it's only a minute long and I've probably already went over that in how long I've talked about the video. We had Kink's Spring and Summer 2019 apparel release this week, as well as a quick promo video for Animal for Ben Lewis's Benny Pegs. The video is literally only a minute long and features tons of peg usage, obviously, 
So if you want to see some burly grinds and some super technical, impossible looking grinds, this is one that you're going to want to check out. And the last thing that I want to talk about this week related to products is a video from Powers Bike Shop highlighting the history of S&M bikes race frames. This one is definitely something that is needed in the BMX world. I feel like there needs to be more videos teaching kids and people in general about the past and the things that came before us. Because if you went to any random skate park and asked a kid about someone from 20 years ago or a video from 20 years ago, they're probably not going to have any idea. And I think that the more that they're educated, the more inspiration they can have from older videos or just a wider gamut of places for inspiration. And that is never a bad thing. From there, we can move into the interview section for this week. The first one is a Space Brothers podcast, this time with Steve Crandall. Haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but it's Crandall, so you know it's going to be good. And then I want to introduce Chris Doyle's new podcast called The Palaver Podcast. I hope I said that right. If not, I'm sorry. But his introductory episode features Chris Bennett, and I haven't had a chance to listen to this one either. I definitely plan on it, but in the four days that it's been released, I just haven't had time yet. So if that's something that you're interested in or anything else that I've talked about today in this video, there's links to all of it that you can check out in the description down below. And that's gonna do it for this week's BMX news video. Let me know if you're one of the 20% that makes it to the end of the video. And if you might be interested in a 20% club, 20 inch BMX type conglomerate shirt idea that I could throw up into the shirt store, I think it would be awesome. And it would be cool for something for you guys who make it to the end of these videos. And for all of you who did and do, I thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more of this, if this is the first BMX news video that you're seeing, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. I come out with this BMX news video every Friday, as well as tips and tricks videos on Tuesdays and other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.